The Last Man on Planet Earth is a 1999 television film directed by Les Landau and starring Julie Bowen, Paul Francis, Tamlin Tomita, L. Scott Caldwell, and Cliff DeYoung. The plot concerns a female-dominated society following the death of the majority of the world's men. Topic. Plot Sometime in a dystopian future, World War III with Afghanistan breaks out. An incurable biological weapon called the Y-bomb, which targets only the male Y chromosome, is used and results in the eventual deaths of 97% of the world's men. Feeling that they are better off without men, the planet's women decide to outlaw males because they were too violent. Years later, scientist Hope Chase, fearing for the future of the species, conducts a cloning experiment to produce a new male, Adam, genetically enhanced to mature from baby to adult in weeks and to refrain from violence. When Adam reaches maturity, he soon finds himself on the run from the FBI, and hiding out with small rebel bands of the last surviving men on Earth. Topic. End. The house Adam and Hope are hiding in is burnt to the ground. Kara gives Hope her car and tells her to run away. She makes up a story about the bodies in the house being Hope and Adam's, while Doe escaped in her car. Three months later, Esther visits Hope, now working as a waitress in Virginia. Esther tells her she knows that Hope is pregnant with a son, since she and Adam had sex the night before he died. Topic. Main characters Hope Chase Julie Bowen, a CTU graduate student in genetic engineering who invented Adam, initially hoping to satisfy her heterosexual desire. She used genetic engineering, eliminating the genes connected to violence and aggression. Her product, Adam, is a new type of man that has no tendency of violence. Adam, Paul Francis, a man created by genetic engineering who reaches full maturity in 33 days and stops aging. He escapes from hope to explore the city by himself only to find out that he is in a world that abhors men. He meets a teenage girl, who takes him to her sister Lila, a cross-dressed pimp. Lila tricks him by taking him to Mother May, owner of a high-class brothel where she employs a number of older surviving men. Agent Kara Hastings Tamlin Tomita, an FBI agent who is determined to capture Adam and restore a violence and man-free society. She is under the supervision of Dr. Beverly Stokes, who is running for president. Once, during a raid of Mother May's brothel, Hastings finds Stokes is a customer there. She is persuaded to make a deal with Hope to bring Adam back safe, so he can be presented at a scientific conference. Esther, Hope's professor, who opposes the idea of engineering a man. She eventually helps Hope to cure Adam of the Y chromosome plague, injected into him by Stokes. John Doe, leader of the Reclaimers, a small group of old men living in a deserted football field who hope to reclaim the government one day. He blames women for the Y bomb, made to annihilate men. Doe holds Adam hostage in exchange for women inmates from the federal prison, hoping that they will let his men reproduce. However, when Hope, Kara and Esther try to use Doe's blood to cure Adam due to his immunity, Doe takes Hope hostage and tries to rape her. Adam, although sick, picks up a gun and points it at him. Doe claims Adam isn't man enough to shoot, but he does so since he can't let anyone hurt Hope. Topic. Reception The Last Man on Planet Earth was parodied in Operation, F-U-T-U-R-E, an episode of Codename, Kids Next Door. Topic. See also List of television films produced for UPN Topic. External links The Last Man on Planet Earth on IMDb